Uh, this is very special for me because last year I spent my first week on this job attending the third Aviation and the Environment Summit and witnessed the signing of the declaration which signaled our industry's commitment to a carbon neutral future for aviation. And I am pleased to declare that for its part, airports are indeed upholding that commitment. Now, admittedly, we had a head start. Airports are an integral part of the communities we serve. And those communities have increasingly demanded that we join them in their efforts to create environmental sustainability. As such, climate change is not the only element of environmental sustainability in which airports are involved. In addition to actions that generate energy savings and increase the usage of alternative fuels, airports are expected to take action on a wide spectrum of environmental solutions, including noise reduction, recycling, wildlife management, and compatible land use. This range derives from the nature of airports in that they serve a complex set of stakeholders, sometimes with very divergent demands. Passengers, local businesses, regional planning groups, elected officials, regulators, and special interest groups at local, national, and international levels each have their own perspective. It is the airport's challenge to balance the requirements that arise from these perspectives, and it has become increasingly important to track our progress. Towards that end, ACI has launched major initiatives since the declaration that will help achieve and track progress. Furthest along is the development by ACI Europe of an, an airport carbon accreditation scheme that focuses on CO2 emissions from airport operations and features a staged approach and a means of verifying progress. The scheme framework is comprised of a number of levels, including measurement and inventory, reduction of emissions, influencing sources outside of the direct control of the airports, and ultimately offsetting outstanding emissions to achieve carbon neutral status. More recently, ACI North America adopted 13 ambitious airport environmental goals with milestones covering air and water quality, climate change, energy consumption, noise, as well as waste management, as well as waste management. Examples of the goals included our performing inventories of greenhouse gas emissions, equipping loading bridges with preconditioned power and air, and conversion to low emission airport vehicles. Backing up these two regional initiatives, this year ACI, through its worldwide environmental committee, is producing a compendium of best practices an overarching global framework and guidance material that provides definitions and clarifications of metrics and calculations for tracking and reporting. This will provide airports with specific, practical, cost-effective solutions to reduce their environmental impact. And to promote air active airport engagement, ACI offers training programs with the most recent one hosted by Cairo International Airport, that has incorporated an airport that itself has incorporated high environmental standards in its new terminal construction, like so many other airports around the world. Many individual airports, some of whom you will hear from at this summit, have garnered awards for their achievements from outside of the industry. So, the airport sector is well on its way to fulfilling its declaration commitment. We continue to seek the tools that will enable us to accommodate the long-term growth of air travel with adequate development of airport facilities. Accepting that growth, which will be back, without adequate facilities means congestion, and congestion means pollution, not just carbon dioxide, but also NOx emissions and noise. So three things need to happen. We need to ensure that we have adequate infrastructure to streamline our operations. 
Our planners, architects, and builders can ensure better design of runways, aprons, and taxiways to achieve efficiency in the use of airfields, but we need to gain our community's confidence and engage them in the process, or we will not procure the funds to invest or obtain the permissions to build. We want our communities to be our partners. Two, we need to make better use of existing facilities. For example, we can achieve more balanced traffic flow through improved scheduling. We need to work with our aviation partners to reduce airfield congestion that burns fuel wastefully, as seen at some airports. If airport operators could play a role in slot management, they could encourage better traffic flow and better balance throughout the day. An environmentally sound management choice worth investigating. Three, we need the creativity and the courage to employ economic tools to promote the use of clean technologies. Some airports have dared to create these incentives. Narita and, Zur and Zurich use noise-based charging rates for quieter aircraft operations, as one example. Munich and Frankfurt use NOx emissions-based charging policies, as another example. I can assure you that airports understand their responsibility for community sustainability. Airports are built to last, and we will be here to suffer the consequences of poor environmental stewardship or to reap the rewards of excellent environmental stewardship. Long-term sustainability is in our best interest. Thank you.